In this video, we'll be seeing how to start Google map navigation from your Android app. So here you can see that I have started a new empty project. So go to the activity XML part, layout activity main.xml and go to the split mode. And here we can change the parent layout to linear layout. You can also give orientation to vertical. Also give a gravity to center. We can also give a padding for the parent layout. Now we can remove this text view and add to edit text. Let's give an ID for the edit text. So the first one will be the source location. And we can give a hint for that. You can copy this and paste it below. We have to change the ID. So the next one will be the destination. Let's change the hint also. Okay, now we are having two edit text. We also need a button. Let's give an ID for the button. We can also give a text for the button. Now on clicking this button, we will start the Google map and you can start the navigation. So for that, you can go to the activity main.java and we have to create objects for the two edit text. Find view by ID r dot id dot and let's give the id of the source create one edit text for the destination also find view by id r dot id dot destination so you have to provide the exact ids otherwise you will get error so make sure the id is correct then we have to create an object for the button Okay, now we have created objects for the edit text, two edit text and also for the button. Now we can set the on click listener for this button. And inside the on click listener, we can start an intent. So this intent will start the Google Maps app. So for that, you have to first of all, get the values which is inside the edit text to a string. So in order to get the text from the edit text, we can use edit text. So we are getting it from the source now dot get text. And we have to convert it to string dot to string. That's all. So we can do the same for the destination also. Control T change the variable name. And we have to change the object also. So it is edit text destination. Now we are fetching the data from the edit text to two variables that is source and destination. And then we have to check if the source and the destination is empty or not. So for that, if source dot equals empty and destination dot equals empty. And if both are empty, we can show some toast message. Okay, now we are showing a toast message. If both the source and the destination is empty, then we will show enter both source and destination. Okay. And in the else part, so else, and inside this else, we can start the intent. So intent, create an object for the intent, equal to new intent, Inside that, we will be calling the action view. So intent dot action view. Then we have to set the package name of the app that we have to open. So intent the object dot set package name. Set package and inside that we have to 
pass the package name of Google Maps. So com dot Google dot Android dot apps dot map. That's all maps. Okay. This is the package name of Google Maps. Then after that, we have to set a flag. So intent dot set flag and inside that intent dot flag activity new task okay this one okay then we have to start the activity so start activity then pass the intent now this will open the google maps but the source and the destination is not set so to set the source and the destination we have to use a url i will show you uri create an object first of all you can import the class so let's import the uri import class create an object uri equal to uri dot parse inside that we have to pass the url that is https colon slash slash www.google.com slash maps slash dir slash then we have to provide the source so for that use a plus simple and then we can pass the source okay then again give a plus simple dot the codes and give a slash inside that plus then we have to pass the destination destination okay now this is the url that we will be using so google.com slash maps slash dir then we are providing the source slash then the destination and if you try to run this url on a browser also you can see it will open the google maps with the map and all so we'll be using this url and we can pass this URL here okay give a comma here inside the intent and pass the URI okay now this will open the Google Maps and the route to the destination will be shown okay now we can try running it okay I think the implementation is complete so let's run it now you can see that the app has opened so let's enter the source location and the destination okay let's click on the open navigation and you can see the route to the destination from the source okay you can see the best route so we are having two routes okay so that's all on how to open the navigation from your android app if you want the full source code of this project you can come to this url and download it from here i will add the project to here and also give the direct link to download it on the description you can check that out so hope you understand how to open google map navigation from your android app and if you are having any doubts you can leave a comment and i will respond to them if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos